FIFA 20 is just days away and you probably know already who your club's best player is on the game. But just how good were they 5 years ago? Here is every Premier League club's best player on FIFA 20's rating on FIFA 15. Arsenal Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang Just like last season, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is Arsenal's best player on FIFA, taking home a rating of 88 after winning the Premier League Golden Boot last season alongside Mo Salah and Sadio Mane. He's improved by one since last year and 5 years ago he was much worse. The striker had just completed his first season at Dortmund, where he only managed 13 goals, a pretty tame tally when you consider what he's done since. On FIFA 15 he was a 79 rated striker and only had the potential to reach an 82, just showing how much he's kicked on in the past 5 years. Aston Villa Tom Heaton A summer signing to ease Aston Villa's goalkeeping woes, Tom Heaton has only been at Villa Park 5 minutes and he's already their best player on FIFA 20 with a rating of 80. He's gone up a lot since FIFA 15, where he was still a Burnley player and rated at 72, with playing for England just a dream at that point in time. He didn't even have any potential to get better, that's shocking. Bournemouth Ryan Fraser This lad's rise has been sensational. I don't think anyone outside of Bournemouth really knew who he was 5 years ago, which is why on FIFA 15 he had a low rating of just 68, despite playing a fair few times already for Bournemouth at that point. But in the past couple of seasons, Ryan Fraser has really developed into a top Premier League winger and one who could arguably play for a much bigger club. Now he's an 81 rating and a player I'm definitely going to sign when I start my first career mode on the new game, providing it isn't too expensive of course. Brighton Matthew Ryan Yet again the Australian shot stopper is Brighton's best player on FIFA with a rating of 80, which might be the first time the Seagulls have ever started the game with a player that high, but I might be wrong. Anyway, Matty Ryan is a top goalkeeper, but just 5 years ago he was a 72 when FIFA 15 hit the shelves in September 2014. He was a club Bruges at the time and the potential to reach a 79, which is past now. Well done Matty, you must be so proud to prove the people at FIFA wrong about your potential. Burnley Nick Pope It's our third goalkeeper so far, as Nick Pope is a 79 rated player, making him Burnley's top dog alongside James Tarkovsky. But since the defender was Burnley's best player on the game last season, we thought we'd take a look at someone else. Pope is back in between the sticks at Turf Moor following a tough season after his breakthrough year, and 5 years ago he was so poor on FIFA, rated 57 when he was a Charlton player. Chelsea and Golo Kante Now that Aiden Hazard has gone, Chelsea have a new best player on FIFA, and his name is N'Golo Kante. The Cinderella story is a bona fide world class player nowadays, rated 89 and able to tackle anyone he comes across while running for days on end. But 5 years ago, Kante wasn't the player we see today. He was only rated at 72, having just won promotion to League 1. Since then he's won 2 Premier Leagues, a World Cup, an FA Cup and the Europa League, all the while remaining one of the most humble players around. Crystal Palace, Wilfried Zaha Of course Crystal Palace's best player is Wilfried Zaha. The lad's an 83, one higher than last year after enjoying his best ever season in front of goal for the Eagles. However, things were very different 5 years ago for Wilfried Zaha, with his reputation in tatters. He just experienced relegation on loan at Cardiff, his Manchester United career was over and he'd re-signed with Crystal Palace in an attempt to turn things round. On FIFA 15 that was going to be tough as he was only a 72. Everton Gilfie Sigurdsson the Toffees have 3 players rated as an 83 on FIFA 20, but the man we're going to focus on is Gilfie Sigurdsson, as we looked at Jordan Pickford last season and I feel like we've talked loads about Lucas Digne lately. 5 years ago Gilfie Sigurdsson's Tottenham career had came to an end and he was back at home at Swansea, ready to be their talisman once again. The Icelandic midfielder had a rating of 77 with the potential to reach an 81, a rating he surpassed as yet as the latter years of his career, but don't bang on him getting higher than 83 next year, unless he has a miracle season at Goodison Park of course. Leicester City, Kasper Schmeichel Yet again, Kasper Schmeichel is Leicester City's best player, coming in with an 83 rating, one less than last season. The Danish starter became a Premier League goalkeeper once again on FIFA 15 following Leicester's promotion, rated at 74, a rating which has since shot up since the Foxes' Premier League heroics that took them to the title and the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Liverpool, Virgil van Dijk He's one of the cover stars of the game and one of the best players on FIFA 20, joining Mo Salah on a 90 be Liverpool's best player. Van Dijk has got better and better each year and since he moved to Anfield he became an elite player. Nowadays you can see the fear in strikers eyes whenever they have to come up against him. 5 years ago on FIFA 15, Van Dijk wasn't as scary, rated as 75 back when he was still a Celtic player, with the potential to reach 79. It's clear FIFA didn't think he'd do as well as he's done, and to be honest I don't think anyone thought this rise would be as meteoric. 
Manchester City Kevin De Bruyne. Despite an injury disrupted year, Kevin De Bruyne was City's best player once again, the best in the Premier League with a huge rating of 91. He's at the peak of his powers, but to be fair to him, he's been great on FIFA for a while now, and FIFA 15 was the last time you look at his rating and think it wasn't high enough. He started the game as an 81, which eventually turned to an 85 when the game was updated, back when he was a Wolfsburg player trying to forget about the Chelsea nightmare that still haunts the Stamford Bridge faithful. Manchester United, David De Gea. His rating has dropped this year, going down from a 91 to an 89, and what's been a tough 12 months for David De Gea. But of course, he's still a top class goalkeeper, and he has been for years. On FIFA 15, De Gea was rated at 83, with the potential to reach 87, which is eclipsed now, although he could be on the way back down to an 87 if his decline continues, which I hope it doesn't, I'm sure it won't. Newcastle United, Miguel Almiron. Him and Martin Dubravka are the 80s for the Magpies on FIFA 20, but Almiron's rise has been slightly larger over the past 5 years. He's a dream to use on FIFA with his pace and dribbling ability, but on FIFA 15 he was absolutely useless. The Paraguayan midfielder was rated just 59, back when he was still playing in Argentina at the age of 20. His move to Atlanta really kickstarted his career, but he needs a lift at Newcastle, otherwise he won't be an 80 for long. Norwich City, Ralph Farman. He's Norwich's best player on FIFA 20, and the German goalkeeper probably won't even play a Premier League game during his time at Carrow Road. Ralph Farman is on loan from Schalke, playing second fiddle to Tim Krull, but despite being number 2, Farman is actually the best rated goalkeeper at Norwich, with a rating of 80, a rating he was pretty close to 5 years ago as well. He was a 77 on FIFA 15, showing he's somewhat stood still in the past few years. Sheffield United, Phil Jagielka. Of all the players in this video, only one of them has seen their rating decrease in the past 5 years, and that's Phil Jagielka. The defender is back at Sheffield United after ending his lengthy career at Everton, and now in the twilight of his career is an experienced pro and leader. On FIFA 20, he's rated at 76, but 5 years prior on FIFA 15, he was an 80, back when he used to get in the England squad when he was a Premier League starter. Although what else could Jagielka really expect when he's deep into his 30s nowadays? Southampton, James Ward-Prowse. The academy graduate is Southampton's best player on FIFA 20 with a rating of 79, with his free kick ability a major reason you'd want him in your team. He has the potential to reach an 84, but just how much have things changed for him in the past 5 years? On FIFA 15 he was rated 74, already kind of established in the Premier League despite his youth, and back then his potential was even higher at 85. Will Ward Prowse ever reach those dizzy heights? Tottenham, Harry Kane. The England captain is one of the best strikers on the game, rated at a huge 89, just like he was last season. But 5 years ago he was still naff on FIFA, on the brink of breaking out. He was a 68 at the start of FIFA 15, the last time he had a ridiculously low rating that suggested he would never make it at the top. FIFA 15 started with Kane's breakout season, and he's never looked back since. Watford, Abdullahi Dekure. Watford's main man was still in France's top flight 5 years ago, playing his football for Ren, trying to break through in his early 20s. And on FIFA 15 he was just a rating of 69, with the potential to reach 78, which is alright to be fair. But now with Watford he's an 81, and a player who is shockingly still a Hornet. With the way he's played over the past 18 months, you'd think someone would have stolen him away from Vicarage Road by now. West Ham, Felipe Anderson. An 84 on FIFA 20 and a real top bracket player for the Hammers right now, Felipe Anderson was still a bit of a novice to European football 5 years ago. He just finished his first season with Lazio and received a 73 rating, but the Brazilian would quickly improve, with the following season in 2014-15 being something of a breakout year, hitting 10 Serie A goals in the Italian capital. And finally Wolves, João Moutinho. The eternal João Moutinho is Wolves' best player on FIFA, rated 84 just ahead of Ruben Neves, it's no surprise that it was almost as mint 5 years ago. Back then he was with Monaco, and the Portuguese midfield was rated 83 on FIFA 15. It's a testament to him that he's got even better in his old age, showing no signs of slowing down. So there we have it, that's every Premier League club's best player on FIFA 20 and their rating from FIFA 15 5 years ago. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below if any ratings here surprised you, or if you've got any other FIFA related videos you'd like us to do, or anything for that matter, please get in touch. And while you're on, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, as we close in in 300,000 subscribers. Cheers lads. To be fair, by the time this goes up we might already have passed 300k, which is pretty damn impressive. I remember celebrating a thousand subscribers like it was winning the World Cup, but 300,000 is just madness. Thank you so much for the continued support, I don't think anyone's going to be listening to this now. I just say whatever I wanted. Boris Johnson eh? What a knob. Do we still have beef with Football Daily?